Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2018 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the Red Hat booth with Jan Fischer from Red Hat and Buddy Bland from Oak Ridge. First of all, Jan, let's start with you. Thanks for having me here. What's new with Red Hat in supercomputing? Well, I think uh, it goes without saying that uh, Red Hat is uh, at this ISC mostly to support uh, the collaboration that we had um, with the two uh, national labs and uh, the Coral uh, Initiative in general. The initiative that brought us the number one and number three machines in the world on the top 500 list. Obviously, this is this is something that Oak Ridge and uh, Lawrence Livermore Labs have been working on for a very long time, and we're just very, very proud to be part of it. Yeah, yeah well, it's great that Red Hat is part of that. Uh, the world's fastest machine announced this week. Buddy, on that note, uh, congratulations. I, this is a momentous uh, achievement. Uh, is the hard work over now? What, what happens next? Well, Rich, the hard work's never over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, we are still working on acceptance of the machine, yeah. so it's it's not quite accepted yet, but we're making very, very good progress. You might notice in the top 500, we didn't quite use all the nodes in the machine uh, when we did the run, just ran out of time to do that. But now we do have the machine running with all the nodes, uh, and we are running our applications and working through our acceptance criteria, and we expect that to be uh, finished up this summer. Well, the thing that struck me about this is there was so much collaboration, the, the three main vendors for the hardware, plus with Red Hat. How were you able to pull that together? Was that like five years of work? What, what would you say? Yeah, we started this in about 2014. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we've been working on this for a little over four years now, yeah. uh, working on specifications. We're collaborating with our partners to develop the specifications for the machine. Uh, working with uh, our vendor, IBM, and of course all the open power partners with NVIDIA, with Mellanox, and of course with Red Hat, who brings together a, a standards-based operating system that lets us really run, uh, lets our users come to the machine and, and bring their codes very quickly, because many of our users run on other systems that are Red Hat-based. So, buddy, I'm glad you brought up the users here because this machine is kind of being positioned as the world's first AI giant supercomputer. How are they going to apply that to HPC? How will it work? Well, at our uh, rollout that we had of, of Summit a couple of weeks ago, we announced an application that's running at over 1.8 exaops, not 64-bit floating point operations, but 16-bit operations. And uh, this was... Uh, this really was exciting for everybody within the DOE. Uh, it shows us a path for how we can get to Exascale. It also shows us that we have lots of applications that can take advantage of using modeling and simulation on the one hand, but also can use the artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques to put all of that together to really solve problems we've never been able to solve before. I think it's worth noting that not only this machine is, is the number one and the largest, it's also one of the most power efficient in the world. That's Congratulations on that. I think that's a very, very uh, big achievement. I'm looking forward to hearing more about Summit, and uh, have a great week here. Uh, congratulations once again. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, John. Thank you.